today we are going to see how to generate a word document from appian system so for that purpose what we are going to see here is first of all we will create an interface okay and we will map few uh, values there okay and second we will create a word template after creating the interface and finally we'll move to the process model so let's go into the appian and create our interface so i have already created a kind of very simple basic interface okay i don't think it require any kind of explanation simple form layout is there and all the first name last name phone number email id and every particular has one rule inputs attached to them that's all i have done okay once the interface part is done so the second part we have to create is word template so what actually happens here is so now we have created our ui very simple ui so now our second point is uh, we will discuss about what is a word template and how to create a word document at all in the first place so which smart service we are going to use here is this is the smart service name that we are going to use so ms uh, word 2007 doc so this is the smart service that we are going to use to generate the word document so before using the service let's see the basic functionality of this service like what it is and how to use it okay so if you will go into the documentation and if you will just search like ms word something you will find that a smart service there okay now let's see in the documentation what it is so it is used to create the word document right okay and it uses something in dot docx format so that is an important point okay so let's uh, take a note of that point like it uses what docx format is there okay first point is this one so we whatever the document that has been created that should be of dot docx format second point to create the merge template or edit we identify each merge field by enclosing the field with three pound symbols so that is a very very important point here like whatever the field you are going there so fields should be fields should be enclosed with three pound symbols three pound symbols okay three pound symbol that is uh, how it is like this this and whatever the fill name you want to give and again enclose it with three pound symbol so that's what it is talking about and here one simple ex example is also given you can see here uh, pound 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 like name is there and then department is again enclosed with three uh, in the first and three in the last three pound symbols are given so in the same way we will try to create our word document as well so our ui is currently like like we, i have already created so it is registration form okay so i will copy this and i will go to my word document i will paste it paste it here registration form okay uh, okay registration form is there and now uh, let's map few values so in our ui what are the different values present first name last name phone number email id is there so let's not write first name and last name uh, let's just write name we will just write name here okay uh, let me zoom it a bit name is there and after the name we will write the phone number and after that we will write the email id okay so these are the three things that we will write so for the name and let's now uh, make it everything like uh, increase the size a bit okay that is more than enough okay let me give the bold and let's increase the size more for this one okay so here now in the documents what we have seen is the fields whatever the field we want to populate from the apn process apn process so that should be enclosed within three pound symbols before the word and after okay so first of all let's give one oh, <laughs> i am actually writing 333 here okay i should write okay hash, hash, hash. okay fine so here name is there and let's write it like this fine okay i will not write uh, not 3r 
okay so as 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 and phone and then this and email id is also there so let's add so see whatever the words that are oh, uh, one is two is are missed whatever the words inside the word format they are not important whatever you will write here you will it will get populated in the smart service and but write something like which can be recognized okay so first part is done we have generated our docx document and now it's time to save it okay so we will save it into our document and registration form it is what document save it so uh, in the on the desktop i have saved it now our first step is done interface is done what document we understood we this is the smart service we are using docx format we have saved our file in the doc docx format fields we have enclosed with the pound symbols and now coming to the process model so let's go and create a process model so we will write it generate docx file okay and click on create now our process model uh, we will create it okay so now let it open the let's open the process let it open okay so the process model has loaded so what we will try to do is whatever the form actually we have created here we will directly map into the start form only okay as a start form so that will automatically uh, it will create the role inputs as well for that process variables will all already be created from the role inputs okay uh, okay so let's go to the start node and form and here we can write our name ys underscore registration form it is saying yes map all the values so all the values okay i don't know why this is taking time these days so if i see here actually nothing is created and when i go back again it's selected all the rule inputs have not not been created okay so let's create the rule inputs here only for first name okay and just click on the plus icon and automatically all these values will get created for fourth phone number as well and from whatever the email id is there and it will okay fine now it is fine now the start form is there okay and our usual xor gate in case we want to cancel the form okay in case the i want to cancel it now coming to our uh, third point in the we have to use our smart service here now what is a smart service name word 2007 so just search here word so we can find the smart service here okay once we have found our smart service let's go on to the smart service and see what are the different things required uh, for that okay so first thing it required is a template okay so uh, temp and we can't uh, you know like we have to go and browse the template here so whatever the template that i have created it is actually in the desktop okay and it will browse in the appian system so first of all i have to upload that file in our appian so let's go to new and click on how to upload the file uh, click on document to upload any file it takes appian takes it as a document and i will directly go to the desktop and i will fetch that file registration form okay it has taken it and now click on next uh, it is taking okay fine it is done here so our file has now been uploaded and now we will go back to the smart service and we will browse our template document okay so what was the name for that we can directly just search is registration i have named it so something like registration will open so you can see here a one registration form is there so done so here only if you will see here uh, uh, once i have selected the form it is saying like the selected document it will scan for the pound symbol starting with and ending with pound and it will populate that value here so in the file uh, whatever i have created name phone number email id it has populated all the things here 
okay fine now template part is done now the second important is star mark is destination it will create a new file yeah we just keep it as this ha huh, new document name what is the document name you want to give so let's see uh, i want to give some name as uh, registration okay registration form let's give us a bit of a space and pv bank by name i will save it okay first name uh, let's give a bit of a space and let's give here pv bank last name okay so it will contain the registration so that we can easily find only n a m e actually it is ha huh. now the next uh, important uh, parameter here is the, in which folder you want to save it so you can directly browse the folder here or the search icon or you know like this uh, form expression is there so we can make a constant of the folder and store it here as well so i want to store in the our this folder it is name ys youtube okay and uploaded files done these things are done so this was the template configuration we have done it so uh, first of all we have uploaded a template okay we have uploaded the document in the appian and then uh, search the template okay new document name i have given here which folder i have saved and now let's map the values here phone so in phone number we just want to write whatever is the phone so phone number is going to stored in the pv bank phone name okay let's click on save and close in the name uh, actually name is uh, we are storing first name and last name but actually we are returning only name so it should be pv bank uh, first name okay and a bit of a space and then and pv bank last name okay done and lastly is the email id so for the email id as well pv bank email id is there that's it save it okay so now our uh, smart service configuration setup type is complete 100% now let's move to the data types let's see any values are here to be mapped or not in inputs nothing is here output new document created so actually you can create a new target like where the actual document will get whatever will the in which pv okay so we can uh, find it new document is fine okay let's save it okay new document is fine and let's click on this and let's map the value here and in the cancel as well i will write it uh, pv bank cancel and if it is true directly go to end node if it is not then go to ms word done so our basic configuration are all set and this process doesn't contain any errors at all let's publish the process and then we'll debug the process as well and we'll see like how does our document uh, appears so let's debug the process uh, okay so now our form has opened in the first name let's me put like something like alex alex okay alex paul and phone number is like uh, some random phone number let me give it I don't have any validations here okay paul dot alex at the rate email dot com let's submit the form here now the form is submit smart service is completed as well first of all let's view the properties like what were the data that has been completed so phone number is there whatever i have written first name last name it has captured and if you see a new document here the value of new document is there registration form alex paul okay so the word document has been com uh, done and now we have to look for where is the document so just go to the folder first and you have to now select where you have which folder you have selected in the smart service there it will so so you can see here alex paul this is the document for that and you can download the document here okay and let's view the document now so if you view the document so now you can see here whatever the document i have selected name is coming as alex paul okay phone number and email id is as well coming 
okay so that was all in this video ha huh, one more thing is that if you want the user to view the document especially this docx file if you want to view to the user then i guess it is not possible uh, because we have to convert it because the document viewer here doesn't support the docx file pdf file and jpeg it can view but the document cannot view okay so either we have to convert it to the pdf or we have to do it otherwise okay so that we'll see later on okay so that's all in this video for now thank you for watching